Hey guys, welcome to game one of BSL Season 12 Chobo League Group D, Season 12, Group D Chobo League. Upper right-hand corner, we have Sabbath, aka Turret. I'm just going to call him Sabbath from Team Ash. Bottom left-hand corner, we have Laser Snipe, starting as the green Protoss. This is on Shakura's Plateau. Laser Snipe is going to is just an amazing guy he uh has done a lot of stuff with cpl i believe he's a coach out in cpl and does a lot of coaching he's going to be the green protoss it's good to see him in Chobo League. i think he's trying to recall his mmr off the top of my head i think he's around the 1900 ish space maybe he can correct me if i'm wrong grabbing a pylon good player his or like i really can't iterate how much uh, CPL has just been a boon to the community altogether. And I'm being informed by chat that Sabbath is around the 1950, uh, 2050 mark. Pink Terran, bottom right-hand corner. A little bit of a rough start to this one. SCV Scout starting to move out. Shakur's Plateau, one of those maps that I feel like, I don't know, late game, Arbiter, really strong for Protoss. We'll see. We'll see how it turns out. I'm excited to actually do a PVT. I feel like whenever I get a PVT in the North American, in North American, well, not North American, in the foreigner scene, it just it's it's like a it's like a gift. It's like special. It's like yes, cherished, not a PVP. Lamenting and ranting for a moment. Gateway up, assimilator. Warping in opposite corner, so no cheese comparatively. It looks like Sabbath setting up to go ahead and create himself a wall potentially to go for more of a defensive natural expansion take early. Still no scout from Laser Snipe or Sabbath comparatively. Looks like Sabbath is going to get scouted first as Laser Snipe is moving his probe to that bottom right hand corner. And it looks like we're actually going to see just a straight barracks into command center. Like, not exactly a 14cc, but it is more of a risky economic build, especially considering that there is zero scouting right there. Laser Snipe walking in, seeing that command center getting built, seeing a complete lack of Marines. I'm curious how he's going to react to this. There's a lot of options he has. Starting to try to harass this probe, or it's harass this SCV as best he can. It looks like he is going to get an SCV kill. That's going to delay that command center a bit. And he's going to be able to walk. Oh, not quite able to get in the main. This is going to delay that factory quite a bit. So I'm, I'm, I'm wondering if he's going to go. Yeah, he's getting that range. I'm wondering if he's going to drop down another gateway or two and just try to bulldog this from here. They're, I'm much more familiar with, I guess mostly because of the frequency of the situation where it arises, I'm much more familiar with the build orders and timings where Terran can basically push against this when it's kind of like the early Protoss 12 Nexus sort of shenanigans. I'm a little less familiar with when a Terran goes for an aggressive economic opener like this, what their Protoss opponent can pull off. It looks like he's going to go ahead and try to attack with his Dragoon. That is one Dragoon versus three Marines, which is not a winning scenario, especially with the fourth Marine at a close reinforcement location. If he can get a second Dragoon on the field, looks like he skipped it. He just paused to go ahead and get a quick second Nexus. I'm wondering if he's just going to try, because this is going to be a delayed factory, if he's just going to opt to try to take a very quick third. But with the lack of aggression, also a bunker going forward, with the lack of aggression, I almost feel like this might put things a little bit more in Sabbath is in favor because essentially the ball just bounces right back to him. Plus, he's getting an SCV scout in the main. He's going to go ahead and see just a single gateway. We are seeing a robotics facility for laser snipe. I'm almost expecting to see a robo as far as a follow up. Dragoon having some trouble evicting that SCV scout. That's also going to delay that Dragoon from getting on the front and using that weapons range to attack that bunker to at least peel away a bit of that economic lead so I feel like currently Sabbath taking an early lead in this match Dragoonia in position to go ahead and start attacking that bunker only a single SCV is needed to go ahead and push up and repair Sabbath a little bit delayed on it uh, is SCV having a bit of trouble getting out there 
Two factories plopping down. No upgrades from the machine shop just yet. He's got an overall worker lead that SCV is also going to get out. This probe trying to press forward. I think just seeing this probe in this upper left gives Sabbath an idea of where this third is going to be established. Laser Snipe, yeah, opting to just go ahead and build fewer Dragoons. Go ahead and get his third base up rapidly. Getting an observatory to deal with potential vultures that might follow. Two Dragoons on the front. No second SCV to provide support repair just yet. Now it's there. That will keep it steady at 150. Siege Snake moving its way out. There is a second machine shop being dropped, so it looks like Sabbath is going to opt for... So either he's going to transition this to a lot of Siege Snake production in the mid-game, or more likely he's going to go for those double Vulture upgrades as soon as these two Siege Snakes are produced and uh, perhaps rely on... Just kind of slow play it from that stage on. Second gateway. Finally going down for Laser Snipe. Actually, I take it back. It looks like he's just continuing the siege tank production. Just wants the double machine shop to just pump siege tanks here. Academy in the background. Second gas being grabbed from Sabbath. He's still got the economic lead for the time being. Laser Snipe has three Nexuses, Nexus up. Still doesn't have a second gas. And really, even though he's got the three bases, doesn't quite have the drone saturate or the, the probe saturation that I think he wants. Does have a decent Dragoon force out. Now we're starting to see the Vulture production. No mine upgrade to follow. It looks like it's just going to be speed, and this is setting up for a potential quick attack. Yeah, all the Marines flooding out. The Observer sees it. The Dragoons aren't in position to press forward and kind of pick off units as they're coming. The Observer following this attack force. Now Laser Snipe moving up with the Dragoons. Usually you want to be as far forward as possible. It looks like a nice scan to go ahead and take out one of the Observer. That is going to delay things a little bit, but enough territory has been covered that I don't know that it's going to make that much of a difference. Vulture down. That's actually a big win, particularly with mines not being planted just yet. The Dragoons flooding out, seeding a lot of territory here. Laser Snipe forced to re-engage right now. Is going to be able to pick off one siege tank without a lot of damage. Trying to go for two. But a lot of these, I don't know that he has enough. Some vultures have been able to sneak by. They're just going to walk straight up into the main. Probably get some mines planted there. And yeah, he just didn't have the raw bulk. It looks like. With the reinforcement point, looks like he still might be able to repel this. And some nice micro. So ignore what I was saying. I was expecting mines. Maybe I'm just not factoring in the mines. However, in the interim, we've got nine kills on the probes in the main. And still more vultures existent dropping some more mines in the main uh able to get a little bit of additional damage so laser snipe survives third base being taken naked by sabbath behind that i don't know that laser snipe feels comfortable to go ahead and push and counterattack this this is very g5-ish play almost from a terran perspective from sabbath this is kind of the g5 specials attack be super aggressive and expand behind it whether or not the uh Attack succeeds because you know you've put your opponent kind of on a on a back foot. Additional factories being plopped down. So with that attack repelled, Laser Snipe is going to take a slight supply lead. Not quite where he wants to be. Grabbing that Citadel of Adun. Third base decently saturated. Hasn't grabbed that third gas just yet. Doesn't need it quite yet. But critically, Sabbath is able to get the economic lead by grabbing this third base. And it looks like Laser Snipe just... Currently doesn't realize that it's happening. A single vulture able to sneak across. No pylon wall yet at that 9 o'clock. Is going to be able to cut off some reinforcements with these mines. Actually, as it dives in. Another... What was that? Did that do it? Oh, there was an opportunity. But doing some damage right there. Some more vultures might be able to sneak across. Observer's going to be there to clear off that minefield. So it looks like there was a brief opportunity where you might have gotten lucky and snuck in. But not able to otherwise. Laser Snipe still trying to play the economic game. He's going to go ahead and grab his fourth base to try to stay ahead a little bit. However, in the short term, Sabbath still has the lead. He's going to go ahead and sneak up, grabbing his forge. Sneaking up to, what is that, five, six, seven gateways. Getting that zealot leg speed. 
Should be critical in the mid game. I'm actually surprised with this amount of bases being established that the laser snipe is not yet making a move towards Arbiter Tech. Starport being constructed in the background. Also want to point out that Sabbath on the opposite corner of, of the map, he has started working on level one weapons, but he hasn't gone for just kind of that standard 12, 14 minute timing attack uh, with whoop, all the upgrades. He's stuck to a single armory rather than the double armory play and has instead opted to more or less plop down more command siders. And it looks like he, well, I'm curious if he's going to continue this behavior. And oftentimes when you do that, what you do is you just grab more factories and try to basically make up the difference in just superior factory count. He does have this starport to go ahead and grit, get level 2 weapons once it's finished. But essentially what's that, what that's going to do is, is that is going to make kind of the gateway man style of play a little bit more effective for laser snipe if he can maintain an economic advantage. I guess this is almost like factory man comparatively. Templar archives up. Double Templar archives. This feels like a mistake on Laser Snipe's part. He does have that Stargate. Looking for that Citadel of Adun. Starting to saturate that 9 o'clock base right as Vultures are starting to move up for Sabbath. Sabbath with that level 1 weapons. Perhaps looking to go ahead and uh, establish additional territory to go ahead and maybe take his fourth base here at the 6 o'clock location. A little bit more cautiously. Dragoons making their way across. I don't feel like this is a large enough army. Well, maybe it is. With the Zealot reinforcements, if they can just run and clear those mines from the north. Dragoons are able to get on top of that. There's still siege tanks underneath. Laser Snipe clearing a lot of those mines. We do have a shuttle as well. A lot of siege tanks sieging from the lower ground. And a lot of Goliaths being wiped out as a result. Looks like just going to be an unsiege, effectively, because there's just not enough Goliaths to just press through the amount of tanks that are here. And now Sabbath, feeling that there's just not enough for Laser Snipe to repel this, he's just going to go ahead and box Laser Snipe into his own natural expansion with just an overwhelming amount of siege tanks. Some Dragoons trying to provide some support from the north. Might be overextending here. More Zealot drops right there. Not able to get the mind drags that he was looking for. The Dragoons now wiped out Still some unsieged tanks and some vultures to try to nullify any sort of those shuttle drops. And with some reinforcements, Sabbath might have taken this match. Vultures starting to get a bit of a mine presence here to the north. Clearing the mine that's near that siege tank to avoid the drop. Now pressing in, going to be able to take out a couple probes right there. Tanks completely unseaging. Again, just daring laser snipe to come in and attack him, you just realizing that Laser Snipe just doesn't have the army to repel the sheer amount of siege tanks here, particularly with the level 1 upgrades. Laser Snipe now walking out to the natural expansion. Some mines able to get on top of that initial Dragoon, and that's also giving time for these tanks to resiege. Can Laser Snipe break this contain with what he has? A Dark Templar here. Another Compsat quickly taking it out, and now Laser Snipe's natural expansion completely exposed Vultures might be able to walk in the main. It looks like they're just happy. They're content to go ahead and drop some additional mines. Sabbath moving some reinforcements up to the 9 o'clock base. They're not attacking just yet. Mines able to get on top of those Dark Templar. Looks like there are, they are on top of that Siege Tank line. That might be enough to bust this. I'm not seeing any Comsat. Finally a Comsat, but not before several Siege Tanks were wiped out. But that's going to cost Laser Snipe his natural expansion. And potentially... His 9 o'clock base as well. The Vulture is actually exchanging positions. More Comsat down. Those Dark Temple are just getting wiped out. And Laser Snipe in desperate situation. Yes, he has three bases mining. But he's essentially completely boxed in. Can't reinforce. Probes coming off the line to try to defend this 9 o'clock. And Probes just getting picked off by the Vulture reinforcements. And that is going to be GG. Nice positional play by Sabbath. I feel like he had a really good sense of Laser Snipe's capacity to repel his attack force and just where, yeah, initially I think it was just to establish that 6 o'clock and have that potential threat and instead when Laser Snipe was not able to, we just lost his army, he's like, okay, I'm just going to move into your natural and win the game now. Great play. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Check out CPL once again and of course, uh, BSL. New season should be starting up soon. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.